Now I'd like to show you how you can write your own function in MATLAB. To begin with, you want to make sure that the function name that you pick is not already known to MATLAB. I'll use which to that end. Evidently, this function that I want to create called toPolar is not already defined. So I'll create a new function, new function template, save that away as toPolar. It's also an M file like a script, but a function behaves a little bit differently as we will see. First thing I'll do is rename that to toPolar. And toPolar is going to accept two input arguments, x and y. For the time being, I'll, I will just create a single output called R. The fundamental calculation happening inside the function is R equals square root of x squared plus y squared. And this is calculating the radius or the magnitude of that pair of values in rectangular coordinates. At this point, I'm going to work on updating the documentation and what you type here is what will appear when you type help win to polar later on. To save time I won't be typing very much here but you can make this section of the documentation be as complete as you need to. And in a moment I'll show you how what you type here in the function body appears specifically in the help All right, let's see how we're doing. The asterisk says that the function has not been saved lately. I'll use control S to save that away. Now I say two polar, give it the two values for X and Y as one and one. Try out some values here. And it looks like the calculation for radius is correct. Now, help when to polar it looks like this. You'll notice that where I had been typing in all caps, that appears in the bold face and highlighted font. Let me get in the other portion of the to polar function, and that's to calculate the angle. Angle is based on the four quadrant arctangent, and I'm using the degrees format. That's the ATAN 2D. Now the function to polar returns two values. Or does it? I'm seeing one answer, which is the radius, and that would have been the first value in that list. The way you capture all available outputs from the function looks like this. So we capture both the capital R value, and then the angle is here in capital A, and 45 degrees, that looks correct. If I switch that to negative one, that flips me down to quadrant four with an angle of minus 45 degrees. Anything that you type as one contiguous section of comments up here will appear in the help. The moment that you put in a break and start typing in other comments, that break defines the end of the comments that actually print. Let's try that out and help win again. And again, that was the last thing we had typed in that contiguous section of comments. Finally, I'd like to point out that the function name is not required to be the same thing as the file name, but it is strongly recommended that you do it that way. So my m file is called 2polar.m and that should be the name of the function also.